Okay, we'll get started here. Uh, this is a uh, this is Scrappy, and this is a tutorial video. Uh, it's basically a tutorial video on how to add sidebars, and we'll talk a little bit about it, the limitations of sidebars, um, and we're within the Karma theme. Okay, I don't like to use the stock themes. Normally they're fine if you want to build just something basic, but if you really want to build a real professional uh, website with uh, extra features, I suggest purchasing one. I, there's hundreds and hundreds of them. I purchased Karma Theme from Theme Forest for like 55 bucks. I'm hosting this website, this particular website with HostGator, uh, and I have the Word or the uh, WordPress plugin. If you go to my site, there's a banners with uh, HostGator banners here. You can hit. You can get really good deals. Uh, if you want to host a site yourself, they're a really good company, super good customer service, HostGator. And then if you want to buy your domain names, you can get some really good three ninety nine here. Uh, .com names. Uh, you can buy your domain names here at GoDaddy. Uh, but if you go to my site, you can get those. We'll get started here. Again, like I say, I'm using the Karma theme. So a couple things on the Karma theme and sidebars. Uh, first thing I'm just going to do is walk you through how to add a sidebar. And then we'll talk about some limitations. But this is my club page. Um, and you can see I have a right sidebar here. So that's kind of the page we're going to be working, working with. And then I have all my widgets over here, the different widgets that I put so that we can have that sidebar. They have some templates. And we will just go to Pages. Okay, and when we edit it, obviously I have a lot of content in there. You can see all the writing and different things. So I've already got the page pretty much set up. But when you're first setting up a new page, um, and some of my other tutorial videos, um, so forth, but we're going to stick with sidebars. So we've created this page. I've already got some content. When I created it, uh, I wanted to do a template, um, and I did right sidebar. You can just do no sidebars, or if you want left nav, some different things you can see, but. I wanted a page with a right sidebar. So I selected that. All right. Once you select that and you've created your, your new page and you come here, you select that template, um, then you need to go to Appearance and you need to create a sidebar widget for that. So you go to Sidebars and you can see I have all these different sidebars. I've named them club page sidebar, photo page sidebar, video page sidebar, store, all those pages I have sidebars on. So name it something that you'll remember that's easy. Um, all you got to do is add a new sidebar, type in the name of your sidebar and OK, and it will add it to this list of sidebars. OK. So just add a new sidebar and name it and OK. All right. Oops. We're going to remove this one because it created a new one with no name so because I was just demonstrating now after you create your new sidebar so we've got it we've created a club page sidebar right here next thing we've got to do is go back to our pages and I'm just gonna view all our pages I'm gonna go to my club page and I'm gonna edit it so we've done our right sidebar template that's what we want we don't want a left sidebar or whatever on this particular page now we need to tell this page where it's going to draw its content from um, when we go into widgets. It's got to know where it's going to draw, what sidebar it's going to draw its content from. So we got to go down here and let it know. And we go right here to sidebar and we drop down and you'll see all my different sidebars and some of the stock sidebars. Um, but I want to make sure it draws from the club page sidebar because that's the new sidebar I created. Okay, so that way I know when I go into widgets that the right sidebar on this page, that's where it's going to get its information and content from. And of course, update your page and all that. Um, I'm not going to because I haven't made any changes. All right. And then we want to go into appearance and widgets. Bar. And there's the drop down and there's all the content I have in it. So from there, now your page is set up. You can drag a text box over there um, if you want to put some text in there. Um, I saw my other videos go through that. Um, you know, you can add any, any of these widgets that you want, that you find. And uh, So anyways, I've got a bunch of widgets up here you can draw. Like I say, put whatever you want in your sidebar. So 
that and then when you're done after you draw them there's a couple pages they created a home page and a blog page they're your static pages whatever um, they created a blog the blog page here that karma theme created has a normal sidebar and what I call normal is it's wider and it's two it's 225 is what it is in width 225 and so you can fit all your standard widgets like this find us on Facebook thing and everything looks good um, the limitation is on my club page sidebar or the rest of your pages that you create with sidebars these are only 170 so they're a lot thinner and there's really I don't know that there's any way you to extend them because you're gonna screw up the way they built the karma theme you would screw all this up I'm sure you can get an HTML and change these in fact I know you can but you don't want to do that because then it's gonna screw up all this um, over here that they've already they've already got these image frames a certain size it's, it's gonna screw everything up so you're kinda of limited like that one right here I can't even use this um, on my blog page this particular Facebook like us I can't even use this widget on um, anything but the blog page because I, I tried to narrow it but then it gets narrow and it starts looking really stupid and it, it cuts it off and it doesn't it doesn't fit right because it's made for a 225 width sidebar and like I say the club page sidebar and the rest of the pages that you create within the karma theme if you create a page besides the blog page which is already created for you um, you know uh, you can add the sidebar to the blog page it doesn't come stock with that but uh, you're gonna be limited on some of the, the different widgets that you can put in most of them work but there are some that are made for the 225 so just something to be aware of that's a limitation on the karma theme um, is, is the different widths but if we real quick go into pages and you'll see my blog page here and that comes stock with the along with the home page and a bunch of other pages too but those two I I'm using as you see there's no content in here because they're just set up to they're set up a certain way with the theme um, this blog page you can make some a little bit of changes so um, you can see I did the blog page here and uh, the blog page just the way they have it set up comes automatically with that sidebar and of course I told it it comes with a blog sidebar and I made sure it's drawn from that um, just like I showed you a little bit earlier just make sure it's drawn from that so anyways those are how to put a sidebar in and those are your limitations um, within the karma theme I hope you liked the video if you did hit like hit comments the more of those you do the more of these videos I'll make we'll catch you on the next one